Steve, you've been in the door about five minutes you, and you've already got your first meal. You talked about hospitality. We just got to North Haven Lodge here, walked in the door, they greeted us by name, handed us this fresh squeezed orange juice, and we have hot breakfast. We talked about hospitality. This place has got it. This is amazing. Uh, the weather's a little chilly outside, so it's nice to be inside here, have a nice warm meal. But what a way to kick off the week here while we're at North Haven Lodge. North Haven Resort. We're in our own private cabin here. We've, uh, we're greeted by wonderful people, great big smiles, a warm breakfast on a cold blustery day. But now we've settled into our cabin here. We're going to get ready to go fishing. But first, check out how nice this place is. When they say resort, they're not kidding. They've got a great setup here at North Haven. Um, a great comfortable lodge and cabin to uh, make your stay here, whether you're here four days or eight days. Uh, you're going to stay comfortably and uh, hopefully catch some big fish while you're here. But a great front room as you walk in uh, with a wood burning fireplace, sitting area so you can tell stories and exaggerate about those fish at the end of the day. And then you've got your own bathroom and bedrooms back here. So great accommodations, a great spot to uh, stake out your uh, claim a big pike fame here at North Haven Resort. Ken Dan Janovich here with. Uh fellow pro staffer Steve McGrath. Well Steve, uh, finally got you up here. We're a little north of the border in uh, Manitoba, Canada and we're uh, after a couple of uh, newer species to you, northern pike, lake trout and uh, walleye. All new to me. Well I guess not lake trout but yes all new to me. Excited to be up north here. Can't wait for the adventure of a lifetime at North Haven Resort. Yep, uh, boy uh, fantastic uh, amenities uh, and uh, we'll see. Uh, some people say that the Fishing's almost secondary to the amenities as well. So uh, I can't hardly believe that, uh, being uh, as many places I've been and how much I love to fish. But uh, uh, boy, driving up to the lodge today from the island where we landed is uh, really something. So we say we grab our rods and uh, get started here with our guide, Matt, today at uh, North Haven uh, Resort, uh, Resort in uh, northern Manitoba. Let's do it. You really hope that audio picked up. Oh. <laughs>
our morning bite here on Utic and uh, a little bit of rain going on, but they're not hitting the spoon so well, so we switched over to some uh, bucktail jigs with a nice long six inch white tail and just got a nice fun fighting size fish in the low 30s on. Kind of a, a, a fun and different way to fish too with those jigs. You're throwing them out there and slowly retrieving, jigging them. Look at that, great fish. Nice. Real solid wide fish. Nice job, bud. Right back in the water. One of the cool things they do here at North Haven Lodge is they fish barbless hooks. And so these fish um, are returning harmless uh, right back to the water there so they can get back to growing and we can get back to catching. So it's kind of a unique thing that they've got here that uh, we do keep a few walleye, not very many, just before lunchtime, but all the pike are headed right back out there. It's a catch and release uh, resort and lodge, and uh, rightfully so. You can see we've got this gigantic lake all to ourselves with a bunch of fish, big fish out there. If we can just solve the weather, but we're working on that. We're still casting and still getting after the fish. Got a little growth on his bottom lip there. As you can see, they've got, still got some. They don't have as many teeth as a pike, but they've still got some gnarly ones. A lot of resorts you go to, uh, fishing resorts especially, that uh, you're there specifically for the fishing, and the fishing is the key to your uh, whether you're going to have a success of that trip or not. Here at uh, North Haven Resort, uh, as good as the fishing is, the rest of their amenities are actually superior. It's unbelievable. Uh, this resort has uh, far exceeded anything that uh, I've been to in the fishing world, especially in, the, in, in Canada. And uh, all of the uh, other guests here this week have uh, uh, expressed the same feelings. Uh, from the lodge, from the rooms, from uh, the meals, uh, uh, there's a full-time masseuse on staff, uh, exercise room, sauna, hot tub, uh, you name it. Uh, it's just uh, unbelievable the first class uh, organization they have here at uh, North Haven Resort in northern Manitoba. Pretty good morning out there. I'm hooked into some good pike. Obviously, we've caught some uh, great walleye here, so we're we're gonna prepare, or you're gonna prepare. You don't want me doing, I'm sure. <laughs> um, you're gonna prepare a great shore lunch here. Tell me what you've got going on. All right. So what we're gonna do is uh, we always do fresh walleye here at Utica Lake. We don't eat our pike. It's a strictly catch and release fishery. Yeah. But it's one of the ways we keep the big fish back in the lake. Perfect. But, uh, Usually in the morning what we'll do is we'll harvest a few nice, you know, 14 to 17 inch walleye, just nice clean young fish, best eating fish you can get. 
And when we show up at lunch, we provide a variety of different ways that we make them. Today, what I'm going to do for you guys, I'm going to do a hot and honey. Okay. Which is kind of like, almost like a chicken wing style. Uh -huh. And even if you don't like fish, it's one of those styles of fish you'll just love. <laughs> and uh, another favorite, actually, Dennis Punches, the owner of the lodge, his personal favorite. I'm going to do a honey garlic for you gentlemen. Okay. And then I'm just going to do kind of an original fried fish. Um, we also offer quite a few different varieties on top of that, that so every day we mix it up, we'll do a baked fish, you know, we've got a sweet and sour stir fry, uh, double breaded, and you know, we've just got a variety of recipes to kind of hit those different notes and different flavors and kind of mix it up during the week and keep it fun, keep it new, right? Every day yeah. is something different, that's right, that's Absolutely. very cool. Well, I'm looking forward to this, it sounds really good. Oh, it should be awesome. Can't forget the corn and the beans, right? No, no. yeah. <laughs> this this is a lot of food. It is, you know, and we, we did a few flavors, so we really kept one walleye per person. We don't like to waste any fish because that's a valuable resource and that's what we love, right? As sportsmen and anglers yeah. and outdoorsmen, so we just keep what we're gonna eat. And if we have any left, we'll usually take it back to the guys that are in camp or some of our other staff that don't get a chance to join us for shore lunch all the time. So basically what we have here today. We've got coleslaw, corn and beans, staples of a shore lunch, and a nice fried veg, some french fries, and the three types of fish we did today was a hot honey, just an original battered, and a honey garlic. Should be pretty good, guys. It should be very good, yeah. <laughs> well, there's only one thing left to do. Let's try it. <laughs> and that would be eat. <laughs> is awesome to be on a lake this pretty catching pike catching walleye and all of a sudden we turn our attention to lake trout look at this fish pretty unbelievable huge fish that is the lake trout of a lifetime right there Inches. 38 inch Canadian leak trunk. <laughs> Check that fish out. That is an absolute giant right there. Just a beautiful, beautiful fish. So after lunch, we came out here and uh, the lake's calm. We finally got a, a nice calm bit here and, and I know you have the lake trout bug. I can tell you got a passion for it. <laughs> certainly you do for the pike and, and walleye too, but lake trout are, is in your blood. Uh, you know what it is? It's uh, We've had a really tough go here as far as uh, the weather pattern. You know, when you've got a cold front in the spring, it'll push those pike deep. and. We've been getting them, you know, we got two great fish on the first day. We've had a couple opportunities where things didn't work for, out for us on the giant pike. And like you say, the weather broke for us. And I said, you know what, we've been getting some big lake trout. And uh, as Kent mentioned, it's not something that we're really famous for here at Utic Lake, but we do have some of Canada's largest lake trout. Like you see, we just landed, no you know, a 38 inch monster. It's fish of a lifetime. Uh, we're fishing deep water, vertically jigging them. What we're doing, we're using the electronics to find these fish. 
marking them and then dropping large jigs on their heads. Sure. So as you can see, this is the bait we're using. It's actually like a 10 inch red October tube, but great Big job, buddy. Jig. Jig. Thank you. That was amazing. <laughs> is that, that an was, adrenaline rush or what? That was an absolute, my heart still <laughs> pumping hard from that that was yeah. an awesome rush yeah if you're, if you're not stoked about a fish like that you know it's obviously you shouldn't be fishing but for sure uh, you know it's not like we get them every day but it's one of those things when you come to North Haven Resort if you want to give a take a crack at it come out here and uh, we're happy to try and we can get bet. these big trout on the line once in a while so you bet. nice job thank you and we've been fortunate enough to have <laughs> Matt this week with us who knows this lake inside and out and, and anybody who's fished anywhere knows local knowledge cannot be beat he's got this place oh. mapped out GPS wise but also right here in the top of his head oh, he's thanks, got it buddy. figured out so thanks man. wherever we've gone we found fish we've hit fish perfect example right there huge lake trout up here at North Haven Resort a rainy day fish how funny is it we were just saying we were just saying catch a fish in this kind of weather you have to earn it there you go we earned it <laughs> bigger than we normally use, but like Matt says, uh, uses the bigger lures uh, to attract the bigger fish. We've been patient, we've really worked this spot thoroughly right now, it's a nice deep trench here, 9 to 12 feet, and we found a fish laying right on the edge, deep end weed edge. She's coming in now and we're going to see how big she is, but it's got weight. Oh, it's a nice decent, fish. Decent. Decent fish. We're going to be right in, right in that foot. Uh, 30s? Yeah, I would say this is a low 30s, 33, 34 inch pike. Just a great, fun fighting fish. You know, nice fatty. 32, 34 inch fish. Beautiful girth. One of our future trophies. nice heavy thump to it and it's got a free rotating and the nice thing about the freedom high jig head is you can attach any hook that you like but it's a good search bait really good search bait okay well let's make some more casts see what else we can do here at uh, North Haven Resort in uh, northern Manitoba One of the first things I noticed when we got here to North Haven Resort was were the boats. You guys have got beautiful new boats, very clean, spacious, roomy. Tell me about this Lund boat. Well, this here is just short of 19 feet long. These are the Lund Pro Guide, which is an awesome boat for a big lake like Utic. Uh -huh. 
you know, when you're on a trip like this, you're going to spend the majority of the time in your boat fishing with your guide. So it's, we think it's one of the most important things is having a top of the line vessel that a guy can go out and always be safe and comfortable. Um, we've got some awesome features in this boat, which is a little extended deck, which allows two guys to fish quite comfortably all day long from a height advantage point, which is awesome for sight fishing and just making sure that guys can cast safely without having to worry about hooking each other. Um, another really crucial fact of these boats is the seats. You know, some camps you'll go to, they might have a little bit run down, broken up, yeah. take busted up seats, but these are really, really comfortable chairs that you could sit in all day and not have to worry about your back getting sore. And no matter what kind of waves the lake brings, you'll feel comfortable along the way. Ken Danjanovich here with uh, Ryan Smith, the general manager at uh, North Haven Resort. And uh, Ryan, tell us a little bit about uh, your resort here. Uh, how long you've been open, uh, uh, the type of packages you have. Uh, boy, what a, what a wonderful resort you have. Well, North Haven Resort is probably the newest and most exclusive fishing resort in Manitoba and maybe all of Western Canada. We opened in 2008. Uh, we do a four-day or an eight-day stay, catered right out of Winnipeg. So all of our guests just get to Winnipeg. We look after them from there, complete with airfare, lodging, meals, guiding, fishing, shore lunch, you name it, and their flight back to Winnipeg. We know that there's a lot of places you can go and get good fishing. There's a lot of places you can drive to and get tremendous food and accommodations. And what makes us unique is that we marry both of them. So we've built a, a fantastic resort here. We offer the best food, the best amenities, the best lodging, the best boats. But we've picked a very special lake in Utica Lake where we get some of the most fantastic northern pike and walleye fishing in North America. So here you really get everything. You get fantastic fishing and you get fantastic accommodations, fantastic meals, fantastic service. Yeah, I'll tell you, it's been a great week. Uh, we're uh, really excited to welcome you as one of our newest uh, platinum approved uh, outfitters and uh, lodges. And uh, we're excited to announce that we'll be, uh, uh, we're working on a deal right now to uh, offer a uh, trip for two uh, to uh, North Haven Resort in 2019 as part of our pro membership sweepstakes package. And so, uh, Ryan, thanks for a great week. Thank you. And we'll uh, be back. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you here again. Thank you. In on a small plane in bad weather, out on a big plane in good weather, I'm headed home. <laughs>